Hi guys, and today we're taking a look at this, which is my the Castrovelva collector set. Probably able to see here. You can see the fifth doctor regenerated in the box with the Strunken figure and the Master's TARDIS on the side. So I've always wanted this set, picked it up today. I uh, got it actually quite cheap, cheaply at twenty-seven quid. And um, normally it would be retailed at like forty quid. So um, I think got myself quite a good deal there. And obviously, you can see at the bottom it says 5th Doctor from 1981 to 1984. And Castrovelva Collector Sets. And you can see the little picture of the generated 5th Doctor. And the Master's TARDIS. And turning to the side, you can see another picture from the episode Castrovelva. You can see the 5th Doctor and the Master's TARDIS. And then a bio about the 5th Doctor and Castrovelva and 1982. And uh, pose, 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 posable action figure, and m write up on the Master's TARDIS and the story of Castrovelva. If you want to, please pause the video if you want to read any of that. So I'll get it out of the box, and then we'll be seeing what we're talking about. So hope you guys all enjoy this because it's the first time I'm actually opening this figure set up. So I'll have a look at the background later. But yeah, so as we just take a quick Oh hi guys, I'm back. I just got out of the box. It took me quite a long time to get out. So as you maybe see this is the Strunken figure that the master strings down. I don't have the Anthony Ainley Master, but something I would love to get so to go with this and the times. So you may be able to see the little Strunken figure. One of the Strunken characters. It looked just like it in the actual show it was just like an action man. But um yeah, I think it looks quite good. The detail is quite good. You can figure out its size. Let's take a look at the fifth Doctor. So he has ball joints, so you can open them out, which is quite good. And so nice. He's a bit like the other. He is basically the keeper of trap and fourth Doctor figure, and they just stuck on Pete Davidson's head. That's literally all they did. Uh, the scarf is removable, so you can just have him like that. Nice hair, and yeah, he looks uh, very cool, very interesting. The articulation doesn't move that well, because it's probably just a brand new figure. So, maybe if I review this in a couple of years' time, it'll probably have more articulation. But, because it doesn't, um, yeah, it's a good figure, good likeness to the... The uh, fifth doctor, and yeah, I could do a comparison with the other fifth doctor. I also, which I'll get very quickly now to show. Which I have now here. I have all of my fifth doctors. So you can see the regenerated fifth doctor on the screen as well, as well as obviously the new one. So this is kind of all the figures I have that are fifth doctor related. So these are all the. Fifth Doctor figures I have, as you may be able to see there. There you can see the head sculpt has been slightly uh, tweaked. Uh, it's a bit different, but yeah. Then too, we can talk about it in another video if you want me to. And um, so yeah, Fifth Doctor is very nice. I'll go through the head articulation. So the head can go to side to side. Arm can go up to ninety degrees. Bend and do all of that lovely stuff. Hands can move around. It's a pity they didn't in put a sonic screwdriver in, but oh no, what can you do? Um, legs go up to the side, like ball joints. The leg can't bend as well, unless you want to snap it, which I wouldn't. Um, nice question marks and everything. The head sculpt is great and all over it. Yeah, it looks okay. Nice figure, looks great. And everything about it just looks fantastic. And that's why I to say it does look great and nice figure. And yeah, it's got this nice PVC piece. Also the question mark sculpted very nicely there. Which basically is the season 18 fourth doctor figure from Keeper of Truck and then they've just stuck on the fifth doctor's re regenerate his head from you think I don't know if you can see it does look a bit odd. But there's like this kind of dent in the hair from where the scarf sits. Now I'll talk about the scarf. The scarf is 
really nice. This is from the season 18 Tom Baker that they've just stuck on there, like I said about the, the head they've just swapped. But it looks nice, um, the head's nice, the body's nice, and also the sculpt on the thing's nice, because I've never had a regenerated fifth doctor before. But it does look very nice, very eye-catching. And, yeah, well, I think it works very well. It looks very good. So, yeah, I like this fifth doctor. It'll be going straight on my fifth doctor shelf, um, along with the TARDIS. So, here we have, this is a, a hollow thing. It's got, see, it's got some legal rubbish and a hole in it. So, it's just hollow, some legal rubbish on there. It's nice, got a little door and everything. Although it does, mine seems to be a little bit bent, but I think that might be the same with other people's, but yeah, it's very nice. And also you can see the little door. I don't know if it does open. I don't think it does, but it would be nice if they were to include an opening door in there, which would be absolutely lovely to have an opening door. And also it would be nice to go with the Anthony and Lee Master. I don't have, but it would be great to get one of those. The fifth Doctor I still absolutely love and always have wanted. So now I've got two Castro Alva, um, uh, fifth, five, uh, fifth Doctors, because obviously I've got the, the original Wave 1 release, vanilla release, the original standard. And so that's nice to go along with that, because now I've got two Fifth Doctors from the story, so that kind of helps. And also it's nice to go with all the other 80s things on my shelf. And, yeah, um, why don't I take a look at the packaging? So, I'll move the fifth Doctor out of the way. I'll just move him to the side. And, obviously, uh, he can just lean against there on the side. Just a little shrunken body. Uh, okay, so, I'll just get up the packet just a little bit quickly. Yeah, I'll just get it up. There we go. You may be able to see the Faris Project. Here, the Farish Project interior card. I love these things that they've been doing. Like the interior card looks really nice. If I was to put the Fifth Doctor lying down there, it definitely looks like the the regeneration scene. Also, just to put the Fifth Doctor's ties in there, because it's kind of like the Keeper of Trakan and the New Beginning box. I kind of leaning, so it looks very nice. Um, very, very nice, and also the fire project had a big part to play in it. Just very good, and I enjoyed the that story. And that story was great and um, beloved by me. Uh, absolutely, it's a cracking story. Absolutely cracking story. Um, uh, and it's good to find out about other characters and everything. Yeah, so the box was nice and everything. And I mainly got this for the fifth Doctor, who I'd never got this figure before. And the shrunken body uh, from the Master is a nice touch as well, because they didn't have to include that. They should have really included this with a Master figure, but they didn't for some weird reason. I don't know why. It must have been legal reasons, and because it was a rare exclusive. The um, figure. This was a Underground Toys exclusive, I believe. I believe I may be wrong, but I think it was definitely an underground toy. It had the underground toys logo on this. Um, I've had it for oh, uh, I got it today actually. Um, yeah, it's a nice figure, lovely, lovely box, lovely everything. And you will be seeing the Humphrey Years box set review and also the Death in Paradise uh, figures I've got planned to do a review of at some stage, but that might take ages to come out. So guys, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, if you enjoyed this, notify the bell, get everything done, and it's just great to have a regenerated 5th Doctor, because it was released on a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but this one is different because it has the arms and everything, but fantastic, uh, nice paint apps and everything, smashing, great, and lovely, hope you all enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Goodbye.